Hello, my name is Dr. Sam High. I am an internal medicine doctor. Thank you so much for watching and welcome to Raw Talk. This is episode number 60. Raw Talk is unfiltered and unedited. I give you my thoughts and opinions on health. In this episode, I will be talking about the biggest risk factor for heart disease, and that's diabetes, and how carnivore reverses it. But first, a quick announcement. I want to interview carnivores for this channel. Your story will inspire those who were in your situation to change. If you are interested, send me an email, drsamhigh at gmail.com. See the description for the correct spelling. Okay, heart disease is the number one killer in the world. And for decades, we've been told the same story. It's cholesterol, it's saturated fat, it's your ribeye that's clogging your arteries. But let me tell you the truth. Cholesterol is not the main driver of heart disease. The biggest risk factor, the thing that's silently killing millions of people is diabetes and insulin resistance. Today, I'm going to break down why diabetes is the real cause of heart disease, why the medical system doesn't want you to know this, and why the carnivore diet is the single most powerful tool to reverse it. If you care about protecting your heart, your brain, and your life, stay tuned. For decades, the narrative has been simple. Eat fat. Fat raises cholesterol. Cholesterol clogs arteries. That leads to a heart attack. But here's what the science actually shows. Half of people who have heart attacks have normal cholesterol, so-called normal. People with high cholesterol often live longer, especially the elderly. What actually predicts heart disease risk isn't total cholesterol, but things like triglycerides, HDL, fasting insulin, and inflammation. Cholesterol is not a poison. It's a building block of hormones, brain cells, vitamin D, and immune function. But the cholesterol myth became a trillion-dollar industry. Statins, low-fat foods, heart-healthy whole grains, all sold to you while heart disease rates skyrocketed. So if cholesterol isn't the culprit, what is? Let's cut straight to it. If you have diabetes, you already have cardiovascular disease. The American Heart Association literally says having diabetes is the equivalent of already having had a heart attack. Here's why. Number one, insulin resistance destroys blood vessels. Every time your blood sugar spikes, sugar molecules attach to proteins in a process called glycation. This damages the delicate lining of your blood vessels, the endothelium. Imagine sandpaper scratching the inside of your arteries over and over. Number two, inflammation and oxidative stress. High insulin, high glucose, and high triglycerides cause oxidative stress. This makes LDL particles more likely to get damaged and stick inside artery walls. The problem isn't LDL itself. It's damage LDL in an inflamed environment. Number three. Blood becomes sticky. High insulin raises clotting factors. This makes diabetics more prone to blood clots, strokes, and heart attacks. Number four, the statistics don't lie. Diabetes doubles to quadruples your risk of heart disease. Even pre-diabetes, fasting glucose in the 100s, A1C of 5.7 to 6.4, dramatically raises cardiovascular risk. 
88% of Americans are metabolically unhealthy, which means most are walking around with hidden vascular damage right now. So the truth is diabetes and insulin resistance are the engine of heart disease. Cholesterol is just a passenger. Now, why don't you hear this from your doctor? Because the food matrix and medical system profit from keeping you sick. They tell you to eat healthy carbs, oatmeal, whole wheat bread, fruit juice. They put you on statins to lower cholesterol, but don't address insulin resistance. They give you medications that manage diabetes instead of reversing it. It's profitable to have patients who are permanently diabetic. It's profitable to keep blaming cholesterol so you keep buying low-fat foods and statins. But none of this gets to the root cause, your diet. Here's where carnivore comes in. When you cut out carbohydrates, when you stop pouring sugar and starch into your bloodstream, amazing things happen. Number one, blood sugar normalizes. No carbs means no glucose spikes. Hemoglobin A1C, the three-month average of blood sugar, plummets. People go from diabetic ranges down to normal within months. Number two, insulin sensitivity. That's restored. Without constant carb intake, insulin levels drop. Fat cells unlock and start releasing energy. Appetite decreases naturally. No more cravings. No more hangry spells. Number three, inflammation drops. Processed carbs and seed oils drive inflammation. Carnivore eliminates them completely. HSCRP, GGT, and homocysteine improve dramatically. Number four, lipid profile in context. Triglycerides plummet. HDL rises. Triglyceride to HDL ratio, one of the strongest predictors of heart health, normalizes. Yes, LDL may rise in some people, but in the context of low insulin, low inflammation, and high HDL, the risk looks very different. Number five, real world results. Type two diabetics re reducing or eliminating insulin. People losing over hundred pounds and keeping it off. Stories of A1C dropping from 8.5 to 5.5 in under a year. This is not disease management. This is reversal. Now let's contrast this with other diets. Low fat diets, they keep carbs high. So insulin resistance never resolves. You're always hungry, always craving. How about keto? It's better, but many people fill it with fat bombs, almond flour desserts, and seed oils. They stall or relapse. How about moderation diets? Telling a diabetic to eat carbs in moderation is like telling an alcoholic to drink in moderation. It doesn't work. Only carnivore, strict elimination of carbs, breaks the cycle once and for all. Think about it. Heart disease kills more people than cancer, accidents, or infections. It robs people of decades of their life. And the biggest risk factor isn't cholesterol. It's diabetes, insulin resistance, and the foods that fuel them. Carnivore doesn't just lower blood sugar. It rewires your metabolism. It restores your hormones. It heals your arteries. If you want to protect your heart, protect your brain, and protect your future, you have to fix insulin resistance. And the fastest way to do that is with a meat-based diet. So here's the bottom line. Cholesterol is not the villain. Diabetes and insulin resistance are the true drivers of heart disease. 
and the carnivore diet is the most powerful way to reverse them. You can break free from the cycle of blood sugar spikes, medications, and fear. If you're ready to reset your health, lose the weight, reverse diabetes, and protect your heart, join me inside my 90-day carnivore blueprint. Don't wait until it's too late. The best time to change was yesterday. The second best time is today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you want to follow me for more content on Instagram, my username is Sam underscore high MD. Once again, thank you so much. I love you guys. And I will see you in the next video.